Hello food eaters and welcome to this episode of Bangers and Ash where we today will be taking a look at the Argentinian cousin of the dumpling, the empanada. But before we get into that I just want to apologise for the long hiatus in episodes. Uh, I do not have any good excuses, I've just been quite lazy. Um, but I'm going home next week so that will mean that we get access to good Norwegian produce so I'm very excited for that but anyway let's get to it. for the empanada dough you want to mix 500 grams of flour with around 115 grams of unsalted butter and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar before mixing in one tablespoon of salt into 700 grams of white flour then Slowly add in the flour into the liquids, stir continuously until you have a loose dough. Once you have a dough, roll it out on your rolling surface. Knead for around 10 minutes for a covering in cling film and setting aside in the fridge for at least two hours, but ideally overnight. Then we can turn our attention to the fillings and I want to do one salmon and cream cheese one and then one more authentic uh, Argentinian uh, beef empanada. So to start with the salmon filling you want to chop up a shallot, uh, put it into a bowl and then as is the case with any skin removal procedure find your sharpest possible knife before using your hands to separate the skin from the salmon before chopping it up into bite-sized pieces and adding in with a shallot. Then chop up some dill, some washed capers or unwashed if you prefer the more salty experience. Then lob in the cream cheese, squeeze in the juice of a lemon, mix together well, season with salt and pepper. And then you want to move over to the hob and fry up some chopped up beef. Brown said beef before removing it again and then fry some onions and sweet peppers leaving any meat residue in the pan then add in some fresh thyme some cumin some paprika some dried oregano some cayenne pepper a stock cube of your choice add in the beef again before chucking in a handful of raisins for a nice rounded sweetness then you want to take this off the hob and let rest for at least two hours until it's cooled completely down. And in the meantime, you want to hand to your empanada dough and prepare it for filling. So the first thing you want to do is cut the dough into four squares before taking one square and rolling it into a thin sheet, not quite see-through, but still fairly thin before finding a circular template and an appropriate size and cut out as many of those as possible per sheet before rolling out again and repeating until you've used up all the dough. Then for the filling you want to make sure that you place the filling in the middle of the empanada. As you can see I added two olives to the beef filling here and to make the dough seal shut properly coat half of the outer perimeter of the dough discs with some water which will make the dough stick to itself easier. Then you want to start to slowly fold it over and there are several techniques to uh, folding empanadas. There's this fancy Argentinian way of doing it that I tried on the first one and it was very difficult. Uh, so the easiest thing is just to fold it over and then press it down with a fork to seal the empanada. You just want to make sure that it's completely sealed and nothing leaks out because if you get filling in the oil it can be calamitous. It will be calamitous. Um, so you want to avoid that at all costs. Preheat some oil using a cooker thermometer to 190 degrees Celsius and you want to make sure that that's the exact temperature you use when you drop the empanadas in and then you fry them, turning them regularly. Just make sure you don't overcrowd the pan and fry them until they're golden brown uh, or around five to six minutes on each side and then you are ready to go you can tuck in as i'm about to do here and um, these were absolutely delicious i think i have a live review for you in a very short while anyway but yeah thank you very much for watching and apologies again for the long hiatus i'm very excited to uh, go home and be able to do some more outdoorsy stuff but anyway thanks for watching take care and stay safe i'll see you soon
Oofed. That was really, really tasty. The beef ones were banging, mostly a bomb of umami, and the fish ones were really nice as well. The um, capers are really nice in it. Really nice balance of flavors. Very different, all of them. Uh, definitely try it. Just literally put whatever you want in them. Be creative and yeah, let me know what you think if you make them.